eyes on Westminster. That goes for more than 1,700 election candidates. Southeast Cardiff. And rising out of the ashes of the cricket season is Tory candidate Ted Dexter, hoping to win the seat from Labour's Jim Callaghan. Handsome Lord Edward is proving popular down there. Though he's in Glamorgan territory, Ted has to spend a lot of his time signing autographs. If only those young shavers had votes. Member for Islington East since 1945 is Dr. Eric Fletcher, Labour member, law expert, a power in big business. All his life, Dr. Fletcher has been prominently associated with Islington. Helping him in the campaign are his son and his wife. This is a family with a long record of public service. A statue of Winston Churchill records his many years as MP for Woodford. His successor may be Patrick Jenkin, hurrying round the constituency with a speed that would go well in Tokyo. Patrick's a 38-year-old company secretary. If he gets in, he should quicken the pace a bit at Westminster. Attractive candidate for Chigwell is the liberal 27-year-old Miss Gudrun Collis. She's a lawyer, plays cricket and golf, and is the youngest woman putting up for the house. Golden rule, if canvassing annoys you, keep your hair on. The member for East Flint is that well-known woman MP, Mrs. Irene White. Mrs. White was first elected here in 1950. A face we all know. Jimmy Edwards is fighting the Labour seat of North Paddington, hoping to win it for the Conservatives. Jim is quite serious about it, though it's not easy for a comedian to be taken seriously. Another line of show business, Screaming Lord Such is actively working in Charing Cross Road. He's flying high, our Lord Such. His opponent at Highton Lancashire, none other than Mr. Wilson. It sounds a bit of a long shot, and here in the West End, some people don't think he's a dog's chance. The law has no views either way. Now for the leader of the opposition. Harold Wilson warns the nation against the peril of that now new species of human being, the Tory shop steward. The Prime Minister isn't fighting shy of anti-conservative places. Unperturbed, he faces a hostile audience at St Pancras. Your voter at election time is no respecter of persons. They say it'll be a close thing whether the old place remains the same or finds itself under new management.